2017 has already produced a ton of Hollywood hits like Disney's live-action version of Beauty and the Beast, DC's long-awaited solo pick for Wonder Woman, and Jordan Peele's sensational breakout thriller Get Out. And it looks like the silver screen surprises for this year aren't done just yet. Whether you're into action, comedy, horror, or drama, there are plenty of forthcoming films that'll be fighting for your movie ticket money over the next several months. It. The 1990 TV miniseries adaptation of Stephen King's It amassed a cult following, but unfortunately the four-hour feature's laughable special effects and disorienting cutaways haven't aged well. Tim Curry's original performance as the town-terrorizing clown Pennywise still set a high bar for anyone to follow in the role, though. So when the new version of the character played by Bill Skarsgård was first revealed in a costume that could have easily been borrowed from a schoolgirl's dress-up chest, it's only natural that the movie faced a little blowback. But everything we've seen of It since then has has been absolutely bone-chilling and gives King fans reasons to believe the new it iteration will be floating atop the box office when this movie lands on September 8th. Kingsman The Golden Circle The creative team behind 2015's Kingsman The Secret Service reunites for this sequel, which features the British spy team partnering up with their American equivalents after their headquarters are destroyed by a lethal foe. It's very American. <laughs> yeah, it is. Original cast members like Teron Edgerton and Colin Firth are joined by an eclectic ensemble that includes Channing Tatum, Halle Berry, Julianne Moore, and Jeff Bridges for another round of zany action. The Golden Circle hits theaters on September 22nd. Time is running out. Mother. Director Darren Aronofsky has danced with darkness in his films before, but with Mother, he's going all in on the horror genre at last. The film features Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem as a couple who seem sublime until a bunch of unexpected house guests turn up and all hell breaks loose. While the surreal trailer doesn't give much away, we do know it'll feature bleeding walls and mobs with torches, and Lawrence screaming her heart out. And with Aronofsky behind the lens, it's bound to be creepy and emotionally disorienting. September 15th can't get here soon enough. The Lego Ninjago Movie Yes, the Lego Ninjago Movie is a feature-length toy commercial, but its predecessors have managed to be pretty swell, so we can probably expect some of the same animated awesomeness in this one, too. In the movie, Dave Franco's character Lloyd sets off to stop his supervillain father Garmadon and teams up with fellow ninjas and a master martial artist voiced by none other than Jackie Chan himself. I mean, my mom is weird and collects seashells. Your dad levels cities and attacks innocent people. So... They've all got their quirks, you know? So get ready for another trip to Legoland this September 29th. American Made It's been a few decades since we last saw Tom Cruise take the yoke of an airplane, but before he becomes Maverick again for Top Gun 2, this time he's hitting the air as a bored commercial pilot who becomes one of the world's most notorious drug smugglers. From the looks of it, when you're working with the CIA, the DEA, and Pablo Escobar's drug cartel all at once, there's a pretty good chance things will go sideways. Count on this one to take flight on September 29th. Flatliners if Flatliners sounds familiar, there's good reason. This upcoming sci-fi thriller is actually a sequel to a 1990 Kiefer Sutherland vehicle of the same name. Like the original, Flatliners features a group of five medical students who undergo near-death experiences in an effort to document what happens in the afterlife. When they return, they have brand new abilities and insights, and might be going a little bit crazy. The new Flatliners comes across as more of a traditional horror film than its predecessor, but if it's half as eerie as it looks, it should make the already dense September 29th release date slate even more competitive. Blade Runner 2049 Following up a towering sci-fi classic like Blade Runner is a daunting task, to say the least. But Blade Runner 2049 director Denis Villeneuve has a few big things going for him. For one, Ridley Scott serves as producer on the project, and Harrison Ford reprises his role as Rick Deckard. Ford's also joined by an ensemble rounded out by Ryan Gosling, Robin Wright, Jared Leto, and Dave Bautista. What do you want? I want to ask you some questions. Whether the end result can measure up to the original remains to be seen, but if they can pull it off, Blade Runner 2049 could make one hell of a movie experience come October 6th. The Mountain Between Us It's only a matter of time before Idris Elba takes his rightful place as one of Hollywood's top stars, and The Mountain Between Us might be just the vehicle he needs. In the film, he stars opposite Kate Winslet in a landscape set amid hundreds of miles of a barren, snowy wilderness, and the two must team up to escape after surviving a plane crash. It might sound a little formulaic, but we can probably count on these two powerhouses to deliver some chilling performances when this pick crashes into theaters on October 6th. The Foreigner 
This Jackie Chan-driven action flick features the kung fu legend alongside Pierce Brosnan reuniting with GoldenEye director Martin Campbell. The pick features Chan as the father of a young woman who's killed in a terrorist attack, launching him into revenge mode. In the process, he runs afoul of Brosnan's character, a British government official who has ties to the IRA and who might hold the key to uncovering the attacker's identities. Between Chan's killer training and Brosnan's debonair style, The Foreigner should make for one exhilarating game of cat and mouse when it hits theaters October 13th. Happy Death Day. It isn't Friday the 13th in America if there isn't a schlocky horror film in theaters, and this year it's Happy Death Day. It's basically Groundhog's Day meets Scream as the film features a college student who has to relive the day of her death over and over again until she figures out who's killing her. If nothing else, it looks to be good for a few fun jump scares and creative death scenes. The Snowman. If campy horror isn't your preferred brand of thrills, The Snowman might be what you're looking for instead. The film follows a couple of detectives trying to track down a serial killer who leaves icy little clues to toy with his investigators in a sleepy Swedish snowscape. With an all-star cast that includes Michael Fassbender, Chloe Sevigny, and J.K. Simmons, we can expect The Snowman to be absolutely bone-chilling once it hits theaters on October 20th. Professor Marston and the Wonder Women if you haven't had enough Wonder Woman yet this year, give this origin story a try. Professor Marston will give cinematic life to the real-life man responsible for Diana Prince, William Moulton Marston. And if you don't already know anything about the author, let's just say he had some interesting views on male-female relationships. A person is most happy when they are submissive to a loving authority. You'll learn all about it if you check out this pick on October 27th. Jigsaw. Lionsgate was definitely playing a game by presenting 2010's Saw 3D the final chapter as the very last round of Jigsaw's punishing plans. In the newest round of torture trials, a copycat killer appears to be reviving John Kramer's work in ways that are a little too on the nose for the investigators tailing this new villain. Just like the other pictures that preceded it, Jigsaw looks to be chock full of psychological and physical horrors that'll test your tolerance for gore when this thing hits theaters on October 27th. Suburbicon. George Clooney and the Coen brothers have already proven themselves to be an interesting filmmaking match thanks to Oh Brother Where Art Thou and Hail Caesar. And now the three have teamed up again with the Coens writing and Clooney directing to bring this quirky crime thriller to theaters next. Suburbicon stars Matt Damon as a man who loses his wife in a shocking home invasion incident and watches as his idyllic little town turns into a haven for deceit and darkness. As with any Clooney Cohen collaboration, this grim landscape will be peppered with plenty of comedy, making it a must see on October 27th. Thor Ragnarok. In Norse mythology, Ragnarok is an apocalyptic series of events that results in the world being plunged into water after the deaths of several gods, including Odin, Thor, and Loki, and culminates in a planetary rebirth. So it's obvious from the title that this chapter won't be a jolly good time for our hammer-wielding hero. You have no idea. The good news is, his imminent participation in the upcoming Avengers Infinity War means he'll probably emerge from this adventure relatively unscathed. But before that, he'll have to break out of prison without his hammer and play gladiator opposite none other than the Incredible Hulk. So we can definitely count on this to be a marvelous new adventure for our Avenger friends when it busts into theaters on November 3rd. Surprise! This will be such fun. Daddy's Home 2. The first Daddy's Home didn't exactly thrill critics, but audiences ate it up. So in true sequel fashion, Daddy's Home 2 is doubling down on everything that made the first movie stand out including twice as many dads as the original. This time around, returning stars Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg are joined by John Lithgow and Mel Gibson as their respective fathers. Naturally, chaos ensues once this quartet gets together, so prepare for some major dad jokes when this family comedy hits theaters on November 10th. Justice League as DC's biggest, boldest attempt at a shared universe outing, Justice League will pull together its all-star superhero squad of Wonder Woman, Batman, Aquaman, The Flash, and Cyborg as they tangle with the latest villains to threaten the Earth. If the massive receipts on Wonder Woman are any indication, November 17th will be a big day for the DC Extended Universe when this superhero smash pick lands in theaters. He said the age of heroes would never come again. It has to. Coco. As Pixar's first non-sequel since The Good Dinosaur, Coco tells the story of a young boy named Miguel whose family has banned music. His love of instruments leads him to the land of the dead where he teams up with a trickster named Hector to unravel his family's history across both planes of existence. Count on this Pixar pick to make a splash when it bows into cinemas on November 22nd. The Disaster Artist 
Tommy Wiseau's The Room is known for being the single worst movie ever made, and James Franco's The Disaster Artist aims to humorously explore how such a terrible picture ever made it to production in the first place. Unlike its source material, The Disaster Artist is actually expected to be good, and will be a must-see for any movie fan when it lands on December 8th. The Shape of Water Guillermo del Toro has got away with movie monsters, and The Shape of Water looks to be an especially beastly treat. The film stars Sally Hawkins, Michael Shannon, and Octavia Spencer as it follows a disabled janitor, making pals with a water creature that's tucked away in a secret research tank. With all the eerie atmosphere and authority of del Toro's distinct eye behind this film, consider your calendar space for December 8th already booked. Ferdinand in this animated pic, John Cena stars as the pacifist animated bull Ferdinand, who must escape captivity to live his life of nonviolence and merriment away from all the rodeos. The film is based on the classic children's book by Monroe Leaf and Robert Lawson. Ferdinand will be a family favorite when it drops just in time for holiday break from school on December 15th. Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle Welcome to the Jungle is expected to recapture the magic of the 1995 adventure film Jumanji, but this time, it features The Rock alongside Jack Black, Karen Gillan, and Kevin Hart as the player's avatars. And instead of rolling dice, the characters will be playing a video game that sucks its heroes into a fictional jungle. They'll have to fight their way to the exit if they want to win, or at least live. Damn, that is a man right there. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, it's gonna be okay. Pitch Perfect 3 if you thought the first two Pitch Perfect movies were awesome, you're in for a treat as the Bellas re-team for another round of melodious shenanigans. This time, the Barden ladies will be performing at a USO show where they'll compete with bands using real instruments for the first time. So prepare your pipes to sing right along with your favorites when Pitch Perfect 3 harmonizes with the holidays on its December 22nd release. Let Taka finish this. <laughs> yeah! Star Wars Episode 8: The Last Jedi. After the success of The Force Awakens, the new generation of Star Wars is coming back with Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, and Oscar Isaac all returning to the big screen in this new chapter. But what we don't know is what will happen to the rest of the originals, especially in the wake of Carrie Fisher's tragic and unexpected death in 2016. The title of this installment seems to mean that Luke Skywalker is the last of his kind, as the Resistance squares off against the First Order, Snoke, and Kylo Ren. Count on the box office force to be with Episode 8 when it hits theaters on December 15. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.